In this video, we're going to be creating a Shopify store from scratch to a professional level. By the end of this video, you should have a Shopify store ready to go that you can start using. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, it's your boy Tahi. I'm a software engineer and a former startup founder based out of Boston. And on this channel, we explore various ways to capitalize on the digital economy to make some serious bang. So this video is a continuation from my last video where essentially we're starting a clothing brand online from finding the design to finding the company that we're going to be using to help build us the clothing store. If you're new here, you might wanna go check out the video first. But if you just came here just to watch Shopify and how to get started with it, you're in the right place. All you need to do to get started and follow on along is just simply create a Shopify store and that's all you need to do. Let's get straight into the video because this is going to be a juicy one. When you get into Shopify, you get greeted with a bunch of other options, right? The first one is you can add a product, you can customize the theme, add a domain or set up payments. The one that we're really focused on right now is really the customization of the theme. So I'm gonna go in there and click customize. So I'm just gonna preview the page for you to see what the default Shopify page looks like. It's pretty bland, and this is what the default page uh, generally looks like. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go in here and then start customizing the theme. Okay, the first piece of, uh, the first piece of item that we wanna customize is the logo that appears on the top left of the page. I'm gonna select it. And then what I'm going to do is I already created a bunch of designs prior to this. Let's see, did I download it? Yes, I did. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to upload it here. Looks pretty dope. It's called the Moolah Clothing Store. Pretty simple and clean and minimalistic. I'll select that. Um, you can select how big you want the logo to look like. You can also select, you know, you can make it big, you can make it small. I think the smaller it is, the much more beautiful it is. Um, I'll just keep the defaults like it, it is, and then I'm gonna go back. The next thing that we wanna focus on is the middle section, which is the hero text. Uh, basically, you wanna have a beautiful image and some text so that the people who are coming to your website can feel some sort of warm attraction to it. I'm gonna select it. And I already have some images that I, uh, I already set up in the past and then I'm gonna use that. You can use whatever image that you want. My advice is that always have a beautiful design. This way people are much more inclined to stick around in your store and they wanna make sure that, so that they don't know that it's something shoddy that has been done. So what I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna select this image which I already have and then I'm just going to make some adjustment to the pre already existing text over there. And I have some notes on what the text is gonna be called. The main section, I call it the Moolah text, which is the heading, that's the Moolah store. The next one is a subtext. I want people to know what the store is all about. I would, oh, I didn't copy it, I'll go back here, paste it. Authentic streetwear fashion. Basically, I wanna focus on streetwear. And then what you can also do is that you can even add a button to it, and I'm gonna do shop name, okay? You can have a page, you can link it to it. Um, and let's say I want to link it to all my products because right now I don't have anything so I just link it to all, all my products for now and then I'm gonna go back so what do we have we done so far we have the logo we have this middle section the next thing that we want to focus on is the image with the text usually websites put this image up so that it makes it look beautiful when people comes in there and then when I, what I'm gonna do is I have a bunch of images and then the one that I really love that I'm gonna use for this one is this I think it looks pretty good and it's very attractive for the website. Uh, you can also select how you want it to be aligned, whether you want it to be aligned left, aligned right. Um, I'm gonna have a heading of the 26. That's the name of this design, all right? Some cool information about how amazing this, sh this hoodie is. Actually, it's a sweat. and how it will make you look better. Perfect. 
Uh, as well, you can also add a button. Uh, you can also add a button here, and then also a link. I'm just gonna keep it simple and not add anything. One of the things that I also do want to mention was that I can. I'll talk about it in my next video. Uh, but basically, I used a website called Placeit.net to generate all these logos and all these uh, stock images for me to use on my website. You, you know, I can make a separate tutorial about that on how to use Placeit. All right. So the next section that we want to focus on building is the text with the column section. So I'll click on that and we have a bunch of different places that we can put our information on. I will click on the first one. But the whole idea of the text with the image section is you can add more images about the t-shirts that you're printing. Uh, but I'll, I'll pick the first one. So I really have a cool looking design that I really love. I think I would use, I'll use this. And this is a, a crop top and what information do I have? I don't even have any information. Okay. Great quality, no, nope, I don't have an information for it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that. And then when it comes to, you know, when it comes to the text, I'll say authentic design, lack of authenticity. <laughs> I keep repeating myself. And then here I was like, cool looking shit. T-shirts to check out. All right, the same idea applies here as well. You can also add a button to this uh, section. I generally don't have a lot of buttons on my page. I usually only put it on really strategic areas to link other people to. So I'm gonna keep that, uh, I'm just gonna keep that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this so that I can paste it on my next one. So the next one as well, same idea. I'm gonna pick another image. Uh, let me see, I'm gonna pick this dude, okay, and then, uh, I will call it the Lone Star, the Lone Sailor. And then there's a cool looking t-shirt to check it out. All right, so with my third column, I'm actually not gonna have a third column. I think having two and just separating it out looks much more beautiful. So I'm gonna remove this and you can easily do that. So as you can see, my two images show up on the screen and it makes it look so much better. Okay, so the next one that we're going to do is also the featured collection. Um, the featured collection is a place where you put, you know, you can link your products to. But right now we don't have any products and that's actually not the main focus of this tutorial. This tutorial is really about customizing the theme. So I'm gonna skip that, but towards the end, I'm gonna be showing you how to actually link products to. But let's go to, okay, let's skip the featured collection and then let's go with the image with the overlay. This is also like another hero image, but it's much more smaller. I'm gonna select an image. Um, I already have an image that I loaded up uh, prior to this uh, tutorial. So I'll select that. And then I do have a text that I can use for that. I think I called it fabric is mm, no great quality. There we go. Yeah, call it quality at its finest. And then with my middle section, I'm not gonna have anything in there, but you can add whatever text that you want. Same applies, you can even add the button to it if you wanted to, but I just wanna keep it simple. I just want my page to look beautiful, so I'll keep it empty. Uh, what do I actually do want to mention is that with the image, you can actually change how you want it to be aligned, whether you want it to be aligned from top, bottom, or center. Um, but basically anything that you want. But I really like the middle one. It looks much more beautiful. And then also you can either set it to be either full width or fixed width. You can also set the section height to right now it's currently set at uh, medium, but you can either make this section really large or just create it, you know, really small. Uh, but right now I just want to keep, keep it medium. And then let me go back. And this settings actually apply for any custom, any custom element on the Shopify theme. And then the testimonial, it's really important to have testimonials on your page because it gives you some credibility uh, when people go to your website to start purchasing from. I already have some pre-baked testimonials and I'm gonna use that. Uh, let me copy this guy. I'm gonna copy this one. It was actually a little bit long, so I'm just gonna keep it like this. Paste it here. And then the author was Jack Smith. And then the second one, I had another customer review. And then 
Alexis Stewart is the author. All right, my third one as well. Okay, so now that I have all my testimonials, what I can do is we'll move on to the gallery section. So the gallery section is where you can add more pictures, uh, again, to showcase the beauty about the products that you have. So I'm gonna select the first image. I'm gonna use the collection of images that I have. I really like this one. I'm gonna select it. And again, as I mentioned, you can either select it to only show the top, uh, the middle, or the bottom. But I like the top. You, you know, you have some focus on the image, on the person, and then you have the picture of, of the t-shirt as well. And again, you can also keep, uh, you can have a link to it as well. Um, and then I'm gonna go back. What else? I'm gonna select my second image. The second image I'm gonna use, what am I gonna use? I'm gonna use this dude. Keep him simple as well. Uh, I'm gonna keep, you know, I'm gonna use the defaults. And then my last one, I'm going to use, I'm gonna use this girl. Select her. I, I want her to be the top. Uh, I want the top so that I can have some focus on the design. So, so right now we have our page. If we do a, a, whole, a quick recap, our Shopify page that we use the default theme is looking much better than we started it with. Um, and what you can actually do is you can even add more sections to it if you wanted to. You can have a blog post, you can have a collection list. On my website, I have a collection list, which essentially is for you know the beauty products that I do have. I also have another collection for my hoodies, and I also have another collection for my t-shirts. But it's up to you, you can have all that. You can even have a slideshow. The more pictures you have, the much more beautiful the website is. So you can even have a slideshow. And then you can also add a map to it. If you had a physical store, you can have a map that you can link to it. Finally, you can also add a video to it as well. Um, if you go to my website, I also have a video which showcases the product. The more images and the more assets that you have on your website really makes it look so much beautiful and makes it very attractive when people go in there. Um, so yeah, it's up to you. You can add as many things as you want. And then at this point, I'm just gonna keep the default and then I'm gonna hit save. And then I'm gonna exit out of my debut theme and then we can preview the store so that we can see the, pro uh, the progress that we have so far. If you ask me, this is not looking too bad at all. We have our logo to the top left. Uh, we have our middle section, the Moolah store, the authentic streetwear. Um, and then we have all these beautiful pictures, which is showcasing some of the designs that we have in our store. You know, we have this one. We also have our, uh, our review section. And then we also have this one that I, you know, this middle or uh, the bottom section that I have in there. Another thing that you can also do when it comes to Shopify is that you can actually add pages. Let's say if you wanted to add an about us page, let's say you wanted to add your privacy policy, or if you wanted to add a terms and condition um, page to it, it's easy to add that. And you, all you need to do is just click on the pages and then I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna call this the privacy policy. And then I'm gonna copy and paste from this website it here uh, make sure you change it to have your store information in there but I'm just gonna keep it the default there's only one thing that I do want to just change is the mobile store I haven't read it I don't know whether this is good or not but again this is this just gives you an idea of how to set up a page and then I'm gonna save my page so now we have a page but if you go back to the website the page doesn't show up anywhere because it's not linked to anything right so what you need to do is you just go into your navigation in your navigation you have your footer and then you have your main menu the main menu is where you have your home and your catalog and then your footer section is really where you have your, I believe it's the search so I'm gonna leave my privacy stuff over there I'm gonna, and then I can add a page link to it let's see okay go to pages come on let's refresh make sure that our pages is in there Add menu, privacy, is it pages? There we go, privacy policy. I just needed to refresh it to pick it up. And I'm gonna save the menu. So now if we go back to our page, if we refresh it, 
we can see that our privacy policy now shows up. And essentially all the stuff that I copied from that website is all over here. You can click my logo to go back to the Moolah store. Um, and yeah, it looks really beautiful. You can actually start adding products to it. Um, I don't have any product that I can add right now, but all you can simply do is just add a product um, and then add some more information to it. But what I'm gonna do in my next video is actually, I'm going to be linking it to an on-demand printing company. So the whole idea of this, uh, this series of videos was to actually create an online store where we sell clothing brands. Now we have picked our designs that we really want to work with. We've set up our Shopify store. The next thing that we we're left to do is find the on-demand printing company, link that back to Shopify so that people can start uh, buying from us. But anyways, I'm going to cut this video here because I think it's been running on for quite a long time now. Um, if you really enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel so that other people can see it. Uh, but until then, um, I'll see you in the next video where I talk about how I'm linking my product from my on-demand printing company to the store. Peace.